Hello viewers, this is a uh, really quick video just to show um, how uh, elegantly the Pythagorean Theorem uh, adjusts to three dimensions. So uh, to start with, we're just looking at a uh, three-dimensional vector in space. So we have the, uh, the x, the, um, the y, and the z-axis for the uh, third dimension. And uh, we take any vector out into space, and it will, just like uh, any vector, form a right triangle with the planes. So, uh, what you notice then, of course, is a right triangle where we have uh, little side lengths A, um, Z, and W. And just like the Pythagorean theorem, we can say A squared equals W squared plus Z squared. The problem is uh, we don't really have W in our position vector. We have X, Y, and Z. And here um, I can see that we have Z, but the X and Y is not in place. However, I see that W is actually part of another right triangle laying flat along the XY plane, the XYW right triangle. And we can Pythagorize that one, of course. I just made that up. X squared plus Y squared equals W squared, which leads to a natural substitution where there was a W squared. We now put an X squared plus Y squared, and that equals Z squared. So, in other words, if you wanted to find the length the magnitude of a 3D vector, all you have to do is take the square of all your components, add them together, and then take the square root, and that will give you the magnitude of the three-dimensional vector. So um, just as, of course, with uh, two-dimensional vectors, you're just using the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, you use this notation for magnitude. Don't forget to call it a vector if it's a single letter. And uh, just add another letter to the Pythagorean theorem. That's all you got to do, and here's why. Thanks for watching.